What's up, everybody? This is Spectator Sly. As always, today we are gonna finally get at that So Calibur 4 modded tutorial. And I, perhaps this could be for both 360 and the PS3 because it can work either way. But nevertheless, <laughs> I did that little quick teaser video about it working on the PS3. Yeah, and I haven't gotten to the tutorial, and I've been mentioning it for so many months. But, finally, I'm getting to this. So, with that being said, let's get right into it. So, I'm going to assume if you guys have watched my previous videos, that you should know what to do first, and that is to open Proof Force Save Data. And if you haven't, it's included with the files that I'll put in the description. So, no worries about that. <clears throat> so anyways, of course, you want to decrypt that PFD, and then open that Explorer, then open that with HSXD, just go with Open With, and then with that, and you're good to go. Okay, so now what we want to do is look for a character on your uh, particular... Uh, save data that you have extracted with a USB drive. So for in this case, uh, just do nightmares I always have. <clears throat> so you want to do is scroll up beforehand. Each slot will start with these four bytes. 000A, 000E. Always will start with these four bytes. Now, we just want to go down all the way until we're at F5C is the length of the uh, slot. So, uh, let's see. So, about... Right about here. Well, if it'll let me choose, come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. So, yes, the length must be F5C. It can be no more, no less. It will not be detected by the program. So, you want to do is just copy that, then Control N, and then Control V. And then just save that somewhere on your, uh, if you want to save it on where your save data is or where the SoCalibur 4 files are at, then that's your preference. I'll just save it here. Just, and we want to give it the extension SC4, because I'll tell you why later on. So just save that and then close out. And we'll, we're done for that for now. So, once you've done that and extracted a couple of your created characters, now you want to do is get that little war that I put in the description. Uh, it will contain everything you need to be able to successfully mod Soul Calibur 4, if you will. I'm sure all of you who have been interested in the topic have probably heard of Soul Calibur 4 Character Creation Edit, or SC4, CC Edit, it's mostly known as. Well, we're going to work with that today. And luckily for you guys, we will no longer need a freaking key. Don't need that crap anymore. Should work without a license, so no worries about that. So let's go ahead and open that up. Give it a second here. As you see, no limitation whatsoever. Make sure you enable the US locale. Okay, so now you want to do is load up the safe data that I included inside. It should be the SC4 safe data. So you want to click on that. Should work. This bypasses it, so you, then you can do any works. So now you want to do is go to this little folder dang load one character to slot. Oh, whoops, wrong one. This one, okay, to selected work area, my bad. 
and just look for a decoration that you pasted somewhere. In this case, I'm just going to look for the uh, decoration that I put somewhere, wherever the hell I put it at. Oh, it's right here. Okay. So I'll just give you guys a rundown of how it works. So, basic, it's pretty straightforward. The name, you can change the name, change the fighting style, the weapon, change the stats, give skills even, yes, there is s rank skills you can use that are not available in-game. Uh, you can do this to your preference, whatever you want to do, what slot it goes into, what character slot you want to put it into, if you want to put in someone else's on the roster or a customized character, that is your preference. <clears throat> This is if you just want to create a new, fresh character, which for most cases none of you will probably ever need to use, so it's kind of pointless. This is where you can uh, edit the body proportions, change the voice, and the sex gender, and yeah, you can see Nightmare has his own gender for some reason, I don't know why. Same for Lizardman and Yoshimitsu, I haven't really messed with those. So I have no idea what they do. You cannot do any tone changes for uh, any of the roster characters because the game will crash if you do. Uh, I wouldn't touch the equip easy because, well, too basic and you can't really do a whole lot. This is what you want to focus on. You see, you can basically input any kind of equipment piece you want. So let's say, for example, I want to put up a press upper part equipment piece. I want to look at these bytes corresponding to this list. So for the O2, we would put it on the shoulder, which corresponds. Same thing for here, which is for the upper breast and then for the lower breast. So what I would do if I wanted to insert that, I would just go to the... O2 for the shoulder and apply this to where you want to. Each of these circles is for when your armor's not broken. So if I wanted to keep this until it was broken off, then I would put it on each of the upper circles that are visible, that are not X's. So these boxes. If I don't want it visible, then I'll just apply, either just nullify it, which is at the very bottom here, or replace it with a body part if it's occupying a body part. So then you want to do is put equip, and it should now be applied to your creation. And you have to do this and apply each part as well, so don't forget that. So that's pretty straightforward. So I guess I must well do the rest of the shirt just to give you the idea. So if I wanted to see it's the upper press, so that means I would just put it in the middle. And that's pretty much it for uh, applying equipment pieces on top. Uh. Same thing for uh, if you want to apply hairstyles, different face models, like you can apply all these. It's the same principle for about every part of each free player in the original creation. There's not really a whole lot to it. Really straightforward, if you will. This is if you just want to copy it from, I guess, another character. I haven't really mess with this much so experiment that at your own free time this is where you can uh, edit the skin color and all that pretty self-explanatory no damn clue what this does <laughs> i'm gonna be honest i don't know what the hell these do but if i recall there is a way to isolate the one player and two player equipment pieces to a certain degree of course not piece by piece but to a somewhat of usage but uh 
I haven't really experimented with that much, so I can't really tell you. And this, well, it's just kind of like the hex program, but it just seems a little more complicated, if you will. So once you've uh, done all your editing and other kinks to such and such, then you want to do is save that work. Like I said, this is why, because it'll be one to save in the SoCalibur 4 format. And you can just name it whatever you want to, I'll just name it new on top of that. Just click save. <clears throat> and then we want to go back to that saved data. And they want to load up the new creation. Just select it all. And paste on top of that, paste right. And then just save. And you should now have the new works applied to the saved data. So now what you would need to do is just go to encrypt the PFD and send it back to your PS3. And it should appear in game. One thing I want to mention is you will not be able to view them in uh, the in-game editor for similar reasons that I mentioned in, so I don't think I've ever mentioned in the SoCalor 5. It's because they're invalid perimeters and the game will just nullify or delete the creation. In SoCalor 4's case, it will delete all modded creations. So you pretty much cannot save at all. So you want to make sure you want to plan ahead all your creations before you do that. Otherwise, it's just going to be a hot mess. So that's just a little full closure on uh, that particular matter. But other than that, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, I'd rather not go through the manual part of it because it's a garbage, gargled mess. And I'd rather not go into that. Just trust me, you don't want to look into it. So yeah, that is pretty much it to this. I mean, if this didn't really help, I always included a readme that simplifies everything I've mentioned in a nutshell. So that didn't, if this didn't help you out, I always included, included that. So with that being said, that has been the... So Calibur 4 character creation edit tutorial and this has been Spectator Sly. As always, peace out.